This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice signed a pair of bills into law, including Senate Bill 94, which will allow people with physical disabilities to vote in elections electronically, and House Bill 4130, which will speed up government construction projects after major disasters. God forbid the next catastrophe that comes, but it will come. It will come. And that is terrible to think about, but the next cat catastrophe that comes, We'll be better prepared. The governor also announced this week that January revenue collections came in at $13 million surplus. He is establishing a rural medicine task force to stop rural hospitals in West Virginia from closing. And he's committed $1 million to support efforts to encourage participation in the 2020 U.S. Census. We have absolutely left tens and tens of millions of dollars on the table. For years and years and years and years, we only do this every 10th year anniversary. We have got to make sure that every single one of us is counted. All of us are counted. The Herbert Henderson Office of Minority Affairs held a celebration kicking off Black History Month in West Virginia. Groundhog Day was celebrated at the State Wildlife Center where French Creek Freddy predicted an early spring in the Mountain State. The West Virginia SBDC and Secretary of State's office unveiled a new kiosk at the West Virginia One Stop Business Center in Charleston, where business owners can now access information about services and resources provided by the SBDC. The Division of Motor Vehicles held a ribbon cutting ceremony for a new DMV Now kiosk at the 7th Avenue Kroger in Huntington, and Governor Justice recognized veterans with the Veterans Visibility Day proclamation at the state capitol. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.